How is it going everyone? It is McKnightster here back again with another video and today I probably have one of the best animation texture packs in Bedrock Edition by far and it is only 75% done. We have custom swinging animations, custom torch animations, a custom shield animation, and a custom bow animation and much more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it in this video. Alrighty guys, some of the first features I'll be showing you is player animations. So as you know, this is the crouching animation. Pretty nice. We got the walking animation. We got the sprinting animation. And we got the sprint jumping animation where it kind of looks like he's skipping, which is absolutely cool. And then we'll have the water animation as well. As you can see, when I jump in the water, it created a little splash. And as you can see, all the mobs are animated as well. The fishes are wiggling. The squids are squidding. Things of that nature. But yeah, see, if I jump in, you can see the cool animations. Alrighty, guys, as you can see here, I have a variety of different buckets. All these are animated. They look amazing. As you can see, when I'm running, the water is almost spilling over the edge. I believe the lava does the same thing. It just moves in general it's not as viscous i believe is the proper terminology we have a fish just chilling coming out of the bucket wondering what you're doing um we got the salmon doing the same thing we got nemo as well and then check out that puffer fish animation that is actually pretty dope probably my favorite one we got the snow bucket which doesn't do anything we got the axolotl, which is probably another favorite of mine. And then we got the little tadpoles chilling. But let's move on to some more features. Alrighty, guys, I got some cool items to show you here. We got the eggs. As you can see, when I throw it, it actually looks like you are throwing a real egg, which is pretty cool. We also got snowballs here, which are even cooler in my opinion. You can actually see them being thrown. We got an inner pearl. Look at that. Probably my favorite animation. We got the eye of ender here, which will actually blink at you, which is pretty cool. Which is fantastic, honestly. We got the bow. I will say the bow animation is a little weird. I'm not sure how I feel. When you shoot it, you do get a little like ping and then a little cool animation as you can see we also do have a crossbow you can see the arrow slightly tilted up i missed there nice but there's that now for this you really can't see anything special but if you go into it you can see your guy like lift up his arm like he's poseidon and he just launches that thing we got the bottle of enchanting as you can see it is glowing when you throw it, you can see the bottle, which is absolutely cool. And like I said, the experience orbs are actually pretty amazing. This also does work for potions of swiftness. They are not animated, but when you throw them up, you can still see said animation and a nice little particle effect happen as well. I also do have a dispenser set up here with some fire charges, as you can see. Check that out. That is absolutely crazy. We're probably going to start a forest fire, but that is okay with me. Smokey the Bear should give me a break. Alrighty, guys. I also wanted to show you a couple of the food animations. I will say none of the soups have an accurate animation. I think it would be cool if they were to use like the water bucket system and just have the like soup sloshing around and stuff like that. But most of the foods are animated. As you can see, we got pumpkin pie here. Um, I do have the specific angle so you can see there's that one. You have what the cookie looks like in your hand, which is very tiny. You also do have a fish, which is cool. You can see you leaving the bones, which is absolutely fantastic. And probably my favorite animation in terms of food is the golden apples because you actually leave the core. Alrighty, guys, we have a bunch of cows here, horses. As you can see, it's kind of like ragdoll physics. When I push into these guys, you can see them like take a special stance to try to, I guess,
get their leverage back, but they're very ragdolly in a way, but it just brings Minecraft more to life. I feel like look at him. He's just vibing, but let's go ahead and kill one of these guys. As you can see, that's pretty cool. Look at the experience too. We'll go ahead and kill another one. As you can see them running, pretty rambunctious. I will say their legs do get a little bit weird, but almost every mob has this. Alrighty guys, I got a bunch of spawn eggs here. Let's go ahead and check out some of the mobs. As you can see, we got the chicken when we push him, he tends to waddle, do a little feather flop there, which is pretty cool. We got the bees. The bees are animated as you can see. It looks like they're taking on a little bit of turbulence or whatever. I really do love that. We've already seen mainly what the cows look like. Same thing with the pigs. They also have these cool little running animations. And then whenever you hit them, they kind of jump up, which is pretty cool. Next, we got the wolf. I'm sure the wolf will end up sorry, killing the chicken or something. But we do have him. And then when we hit him, that is what happens. Next, we have the ocelot here, which is killing the chicken which is cool let's see if we can get an adult one there we go next we got the cat which is the same thing pretty much same animation we got the mule and then the zombie horse let's move on to more mobs already guys we have a bunch more passive mobs here we got the villagers when you hit them they have a cool little walking animation it kind of reminds me of uh, that one YouTuber uh, animation, villager animation. He did stuff like that. We got the frogs here, which honestly look amazing. I love it. We got sea turtles. We got polar bears. They all have physics. We got the sniffers here, which are amazing. The new armadillos even have their own animation. We have a laze as well. Which will do, I believe, little twirls and stuff like that. Yep, as you can see there. And then we got even the goats. But there was one more feature too I wanted to show you here. Is when I'm flying in creative mode, this is the animation, which is absolutely hilarious. I did want to pull out one more thing with the mace. As you can see, when you're falling, you get a really cool effect, which is pretty amazing. Alrighty, guys, we got the final mobs here. I picked some of the best ones to show you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the creeper. When he comes at you, look at those legs. Um, he also has a pretty cool texture. Um, not sure how I feel about that. I wish they would have just kept it the OG creeper if i'm being honest um we got the spider though this thing that thing's scary oh did you see how it just crawled over that that is crazy we got the slimes now as you can see when they jump they're very jiggly i'm gonna kill him so he doesn't ruin the sound of this video next we got the vindicator who is pretty cool and the evoker as well I'm not sure if they changed any of their animations and stuff. We'll go ahead and test it once we get done with these. Um, next, we have the ghast. Its legs are animated. These also do shoot some really cool um, fireballs. Next, we got the blaze, as you can see, who's currently taking damage because of the rain. As well as the breeze. Who is... Probably one of my favorite mobs now. And then, of course, we have the bog, who is burning in silent light. As you can see, the fire animations is pretty dope. But if I go ahead and go to game mode survival here, you will see some of these things start to shoot at me. As you can see, he sh the blaze is shooting at me. And check out this fireball. Those things are crazy. Let's see if we can take them out. Next, let's go to try to see the Vindicator over here. 
see what special attacks he has. Oh, oh Lord. No. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe as you see fit. I will have a free download for this resource pack. Um, originally, they just took it off of Planet Minecraft. So I want to make sure you all get that option so you don't have to pay for it to be an add-on. I get the creators want to make money, but at the same time, we're not doing that. But I hope you all enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe as you see fit. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Goodbye.